paintball remote lines. In this video I'm going to talk about what they do, how they work, what are the different options, and there's several different brands. What are the differences between them? First, what is a remote line? A remote line is a line that allows you to separate your bottle, either a compressed air bottle or a CO2 bottle like this, from your paintball gun so that you can carry your bottle on your back, usually in a harness or a vest of some type that has a special pouch in it. Uh, these remote lines will all have coil hoses. This allows them to stretch out with your arm. And it also keeps the, uh, the hose close to your body so that it doesn't snag on, on, uh, on trees and brush around you. These will all have some sort of disconnect that allows you to separate the bottle from your gun. Uh, this is, once again, the most basic one. Let me show you some of the different types of bottles here, or remotes here. First, here's the most basic type of remote line. This one happens to be a Ninja. I'm using Ninja for this, uh, this particular portion of the demonstration. Uh, the Ninjas make all three types of remote lines. This is the most basic. Right here, you have this portion. It goes in just like your CO2 bottle does into the bottom of your paintball gun, and it has this male portion of a connector, which hooks up to this part of your remote line. You then have the end right here. This screws onto your CO2 or compressed air bottle. You screw down the top. This depresses the pin on your bottle, allowing the gas to, throw, to flow through the line. Now, with this most basic type of remote, uh, you'll need to know that uh, uh, you can't simply disconnect this from your gun. You have to bleed the line because there's no shutoff in this. So before you can disconnect this from your gun, you have to fire several shots. Uh, first unscrewing this so that you're not letting any more gas into the gun. This will empty or bleed the, uh, the gas line. Then you can disconnect it from your gun. This is the most basic of the remote systems. The next option has a, has a slide check valve. That's this what, what you see right here. This is right up next to the quick disconnect. This allows you to shut off the gas flow through the line so that if you want to disconnect the gun from, the paint, uh, from your tank and remote, uh, you just shut off the gas line and then you can disconnect it. A little bit of gas might come out, but it keeps the gas line charged and you can quickly disconnect this between games uh, if you want to set down the gun and not carry it around with you. These work really well. Um, these have a couple CO2 bottle O-rings in them uh, for the seals. They are repairable, very easily to repair. Uh, but know that those can wear out. You're dragging them back and forth. When shut, uh, shutting this off or turning it on, it's always best to do it with a slight twist. This will allow uh, it to wear longer. The next option, also from Ninja, has this really cool uh, high-end disconnect. It has a little push button right there on the side. Just pushes right into connect. This has a shutoff built into it, so there's no slide check you need to use at all. Um, they're pretty cool, pretty handy. Um, one less thing you have to deal with. Okay, different brands. Uh, Ninja, of course, is a maker of, of uh, really high quality, high pressure bottles. They're known for their hoses, their quality. They're just a good overall brand. Uh, one that, uh, that'll that work fine for every player. There's a couple other brands here I want to show you as well. Here's an Empire remote. Works really well. A little bit different design here to your on off. Other than that, very similar uh, to the Ninja works the same way. Uh, you'll notice that the Ninja had been blackened and this one is silver, so a little bit different in color. But basically the same, different brand, another good quality brand. Here's a Custom Products. Little bit different design. Custom Products puts their cool little logo on it. They have their shut off, a little fancier. Custom Products is known for barrels and high-end uh, aluminum parts and accessories for paintball guns. Uh, the quality of these, of these is outstanding. Um, they work very, very well. Still have it in the package here, but here's the Tipman remote. 
This is once again a standard remote. Works very well, as, uh, uh, of course. And of course, it comes with Tippmann's two-year warranties. Uh, that, that makes a, a real nice thing when you're buying a Tippmann. And here's the RAP4 remote system. Um, looks very similar to the Ninjas. You can see it has a little uh, RAP4 logo on it. Uh, these are the least expensive of the options. Um, they work fine, but I do want to point out that the O-ring on here, you're going to want to replace it pretty quick. These are pre the ones they come with are pretty soft. A new O-ring, you know, 75 cents or something like that. Uh, just know that you're going to have to replace that O-ring pretty quick because this one won't work very well. Beyond that, the these are a great economy option and work fine. And the last one I want to show you is one that they don't make anymore. See this one here. You can see how the coils on it are so much smaller. These used to be made about 10 years ago. Nobody makes these anymore. But I wanted to show this to you. This is where we came from. These hoses tended to blow out and, and, and break pretty easily. Uh, so they just stopped being made oh 2003 or so but if you see one of these yeah probably avoid it just go ahead and get the higher quality hose um, I've never seen a problem with these thick hoses uh, uh, on a paintball gun well there it is there's several options for your uh, uh, your remote systems please uh, please continue with the questions and we'll keep uh, doing videos and answering them for you